Hello YouTube, welcome to iCode and today we have a new tutorial. We're going to be remaking this main menu here. Uh, this main menu is from a famous game called Tap Tap Dash. It almost has 100,000 downloads on the Play Store. So um, we're going to be remaking it. Let's get into it. So step one, download the assets in the description down below. And don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe button. And then once you've done that, open up Unity, go to File New Scene. And then let's look at our picture here. As you see, we're going to right now the step one, we're going to be inserting everything into place. So first we have to insert the background. But before we do that, select all of these and make sure they're on Sprite 2D UI. If not, change it to Sprite 2D UI and click apply. Okay, now drag your sprite, your background sprite, into the scene, and let's scale it. Okay, that looks good. Now we're going to be dragging our tap tap dash or tap tap word sprite. Okay, let's put it at 15. Rotate it on the Z axis. Make sure it's at 15. Then move it to the top. Okay, um, drag the tap bird sprite and let's rotate that negative 72. All right, and then let's put it in position and let's scale it on the Y axis. All right, as you guys see, now let's go to the tap word. Let's put it order in layer one and let's go back to tap bird. And let's change the color to gray okay like that so we can see the word actually on top of it okay so next we're going to be importing our buttons or creating our button so ui go to game object ui button and this is our first button go to canvas and then we want to change canvas scalar to scale with screen size okay go back to the button let's drag the play tap sprite into source image and let's scale it up to scale in here with the buttons a little different, you don't want to mess with the scale down here. You want to scale it by moving the height, using the height and width tabs. Okay, so let's scale it right now. I think that's good. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little too big. Uh, let's scale it down. All right, that's good. Yeah, that's that's good right there. So I have mine at the width is at 373. The height is at 304. Okay, next, let's go back to the button. Click text. Let's change the text to continue. Continue. Okay, let's move this text. Okay. And also... We want to um, scale this text. In order to scale it, we have to move it right here. Let's see. Oops, let me put top at zero. Ooh, top zero. Okay, I guess. Okay, now we're going to move it down here. There, let's scale it to about there. And let's scale it down a bit. That's good. Okay, let's change the color of this to white. Okay, next let's create the, um, what's it called? Let's create the buttons on the bottom over here so just du duplicate the play button uh, then drag this button down here okay let's scale it down okay let's move it up a bit all right let me scale it up a little more and let's move the text up let's go to text Let's move it up top. All right. And let's change it to 
what is the first one again let's see it's options so we're gonna change that to options options and we want to scale it down a bit we can do that let's change the font size to like 26 all right now let's duplicate this button two other times okay let's move this goes all the way to the end yeah all the way to the end right there and this one goes to the middle we might scale them up a bit or we might just leave them like this okay next let's go to the button this first button here and we're gonna make that our options button so just drag oops <laughs> that's the wrong button let's do that again let's go to our second button actually and drop let's drag the options sprite okay let's go to our third button and drag the Facebook sprite let's go to our last button and we're going to drag the game store okay so let's change the text in all of these buttons the second one is I think it's just Facebook or does it say that let me see it says connect Facebook okay we're gonna type that in connect Facebook okay we don't want it like that so let's see all right we just scaled out down a bit so I can say connect Facebook say all of it um yeah we'll just we'll just leave it like that okay now let's go to the Play Store one and let's change the text and just put Play Store okay um after we've done this we're going to create a script to have the play button and the Facebook button working and also if we want the options button. All right, first let's go to file save scene save scene as main menu Okay, let's go to file. No, actually go here assets. Let's create a New C sharp script if you want or JavaScript. Uh, we'll go with C sharp script. I believe uh, we're gonna name this M for main menu Okay, so what we're gonna do. Let's open it up Okay, once um, Mono Develop or Visual Studio has opened up, we're going to be creating three, um, three functions. So you don't need these here. We're going to be saying public void play. And that is going to be our play function. We're going to say application dot load level. We're going to say one. And then we're going to create another one called public void options. Public void options. We're going to say applic application dot load level. And then we're going to say two. Then we're going to say public void to link or on link whatever we want let's just say link okay and we're going to say application dot open URL and then we have to put the URL of Facebook in there okay now let me go to the internet and get the Facebook URL okay just copy let me X this out and then we're going to paste this in the parentheses in between the quotations. Okay, let's save that. And then now what we want to do, let's go to canvas. Let's drag our script in the canvas and then let's go to our first button, which is the play. And then here on click, we have list is empty. Click the plus, drag the canvas in because that's where we put our script in. And then it says no function look for the script name the script name is M and then look for the play function okay let's go to the second button plus sign drag the canvas and look for the M script and then options okay and then our last button here 
we're going to click the pl plus let's drag the canvas no function m this is link okay now let's save this scene then let's go to file new scene and save this as two and then how many scenes yeah save as two then go to file new scene and then save let's add like a cube or something so we know this seems a bit different okay zero zero okay let's save as one okay so now let's go back no actually go to file build settings let's add the main menu first add open scenes then go to scene one add open scenes then go to scene two add open scenes okay now let's go to the main menu and let's click play all right so if we click the play it should take us to scene one okay that's scene one we click the options it should take us to scene two that's scene two we click the facebook it should take us to facebook and there you go um one last thing we need to do let's make sure these are all aligned correctly let's go to scene um actually you don't have to go to scene go to canvas and button one is the play that's in the middle button two the options we want to go over here and let's let's um put its anchor at the bottom left button this one the facebook button let's put that in the bottom center and then the last button bottom right this is important because when you put this or when you load it onto your phone you want it to be in this like alignment you don't want it to be all around the screen uh thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe hit the like button um everything's in the description the windows. down below. so once you've done that select the move transform tool and press command v or control v next image same thing magnetic lace